So who's the blue liner that you found in your lineups the most often this season, Paul? Well, in the same manner, I went through the stats and I come up with Roman Yossi as my number one D-man, leading the league in shots on goal from the position by, again, a wide margin with 157 year to date. And he's right there with the leaders in points and blocked shots, which also factors in. Number two is Victor Hedman, tied with Fox at 47 points to lead all defensemen, but he has three more goals than him. McCarr is my number three, leading all shooters with 18 goals, but he's hindered by low shot block totals and uh, other, other stats where he trails the other contenders. Fox is my number four, leading with 21 power play points, tied with Yossi, but his shot total is way below the other contenders. And rounding it out, this is for AJ. Chris Letang narrow, narrowly edging Aaron Ekblad as they're both tied in points, but he gets the lead by a big margin of block shots. All right, Pete, who's getting the award for you? You could make a case for all those guys in, in different ways for different coverage and things like that, but I think there's something to be said about how Kale McCarr has come into this season with really lofty expectations. His teammates have been dropping for different reasons, injuries, COVID protocol, things like that. And he still leads all defensemen in points per game, uh, speaking outright points, not DraftKings points, but still that's a good thing every, every given night, um, whether he's been playing on the power play with Nazem Kadri or McKinnon, who's one of the best fantasy players in the league when he's healthy on a per game basis, or even some of the secondary guys like Nachuskin and uh, Devon Taves, you know, in different situations, Kale McCarr has always risen to the top in almost every single game this season, and he's lived up to the high expectations. So wanted to give McCarr a shout out, and he is um, definitely making a run for Adam Fox. Fox is injured right now, but he's going to be looking to defend his Norris Trophy title. I think if McCarr stays healthy for the rest of the way, I think he's a shoe in for the Norris this year.